Good evening, and welcome to Ravings of a Lunatic. Tonight, I'll be your host, Carson Dingler, as we dive into one of the most controversial theories of all time. But before we get started, I do have to clarify a few things. First of all, I wanted to start this video series last week. However, I decided to do a review of Soul. I reviewed the movie pretty harshly, and that's because I decided to take it on as being more of an adult, uh, an adult film. So that's why I decided to be so harsh about that movie, and I decided to criticize it just that much. So I really wanted to clarify that before we get started. Now, one thing that I wanted to show you guys again is my JoJo pen collection. JoJo's Bizarre Adventures is a manga series and an anime series. So the anime is an adaptation of the manga. The anime is the cartoon, the manga is the comic books, really. So I have different uh, levels of pens and each level represents a different part in the series, sort of like a different season. Season one, season two, season three, season four, season five. For my season five pens, I have five different pens. I have Diavolo, Bucciarati, Giorno, Narancia, and Dopio. Now, looking at Bucciarati, there's something that's a little bit off about him, something that's even more bizarre than the other characters. And what I'm talking about is his hair. Now, one character that I want to show you that is completely unrelated to the JoJo anime as well as the JoJo manga is Dora, the Explorer. Now, you might be wondering why I'm bringing up Dora, and here's where the controversial part comes into play. I believe that Dora the Explorer is Bruno Bucciarati from the past. I believe, in fact, that Dora the Explorer, the Nickelodeon children's animated series, is a prequel to JoJo's Bizarre Adventures Golden Wind Season 5. Let's get started. So, looking at Dora... Her most defining feature, the way that everybody knows who Dora is, is her hair. It looks like a bowl cut in the middle, but if you notice, it goes down on the sides. I want you to keep that haircut in mind. Now, let's take a closer look at her haircut, shall we? Now, taking a look at her haircut, even closer, reveals to us that, in fact, it really is a bowl cut in the middle, followed up by longer hair, on the sides. I want you to etch that into your brain because that is the same exact haircut as Bruno Bucciarati. Now, our next thing that we're gonna look at is Bruno Bucciarati's face on Dora. And the strangest thing about it is you can still tell that this is Bruno Bucciarati because his Features are so similar, so exact to Dora the Explorers. That's why his face fits perfectly. It's perfectly symmetrical with her body. Moving on. Now, if we take a look at this, this is Dora's backpack. This is clearly her backpack. Now, one thing that every backpack has, with the exception of a few, is a zipper. Now, you might be wondering why I'm bringing this up. Now, in case you didn't know, Dora's backpack with the zipper helps her in all of her adventures. Bruno Bucciarati has a similar thing that he shares with Dora. There's something that they have in common. Their sidekick, their first sidekick, which for Dora is her backpack, which has a zipper. Now, Bruno Bucciarati's sidekick, his stand, his ability, really, is Sticky Fingers, also known as Zipper Man. A man of many zippers. Moving on. You guys all know who this is. This is Boots. This is Dora's other sidekick. This is the sidekick that always talks to Dora. They're always, you know, talking, explaining things to each other in their adventures. Now, Look at this character. This is Bruno Bucciarati's sidekick, Narancia. Similar features to Boots. Messy hair, childlike appearance, large eyes. A lot in common when you really think about it. Now, I decided to look at a few Dora children's books. One had the title of Boots and the Blue Plane. Boots is flying 
a small remote controlled miniature plane. Bucciarati's ability is to use a small miniature plane. He flies it. They both have something in common. Bucciarati and, no, not Bucciarati, Narancia and Boots. But Bucciarati, Bruno Bucciarati, has so much in common with Dora. There's so many things connecting. All the dots are connected. Revealing my final statement. This is not just a conspiracy theory. This was a conspiracy theory and is now confirmed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Adios.